Welcome back to the Sports Source. This segment brought to you by United Impact and the UnitedImpactFoundation.com. I want to help uh, VFL Jerron Maiman, uh, if I can get his name out. <laughs> Jerron has been on our show, basketball analyst, a couple of times. He's involved in a community outreach project. You can visit the website to learn more about all the details of this program that he's growing here in East Tennessee. You can reach out to him through the website as well. Uh, email, phone call. Uh, Jerron Maiman, uh, you've seen him on our show, like I say, and this is a project that he is very much involved with. Check it out, unitedimpactfoundation.com. All right, and want to remind you, coming up next week, we've got three VFLs on the show, and they're going to discuss, one, why they came to Tennessee and would they do so today in the current situation. Name, image, likeness money for players. They might surprise you with their views on that. The transfer portal and whether or not they might have left in their day had they had that opportunity. Their favorite Neyland Stadium games performances as we just discussed and this was a passionate, almost emotional discussion of what it means to run through the tee. Fans need to see this. They're going to love it. That's next Sunday right here on the Sports Source. We taped it last Tuesday. We taped it this Tuesday. Runs next Sunday so I can get a little vacation. So <laughs> next week, we've done 102 consecutive Sundays. Wow. 102 consecutive Sundays here. And when I say we, I mean me, because you guys get to rotate <laughs> off. Uh, but so next week, when we're not talking baseball on the show, uh, don't email because I'm on vacation. <laughs> uh, but let's talk baseball right now. Tennessee has an opportunity to win the SEC baseball tournament. Now, they won the tournament in 93, 94, 95 under Rod Delmonico, but that was when it was an East tournament and a West tournament. They have never won the overall SEC tournament. Could be a first today as they play Arkansas. Going to be a tough one. Question is, everybody, you know, people are, the bandwagon's starting to form because we're getting toward the, the NCAA portion of this, this uh, tournament and you're getting toward the College World Series. You get more and more people saying, well, you keep him at all costs. You give him his stadium that he wants, $20, 25000000 million for the stadium upgrades. You give him his raise. You don't let him leave. It's not a revenue sport. So my question is, how far should Tennessee be willing to go in a COVID year uh, when you've got other issues to fix? I'm all for keeping him, but at what point do you say we can only spend this much? Where are you on this, David Oven? you got to be careful. I don't like the idea of a lifetime contract. I mean, ultimately, you can't become a destination job overnight, right? A&M, LSU, these have been college football, more so LSU, college, college baseball, baseball destination jobs for a long time. Tennessee has not been. You can't, you can't just do that by just throwing out money because it's not about a money issue, and I think you got to be careful. You want to do everything you can to keep him, but, you know, if he doesn't want to be here, you can't overextend yourself, and that's the line that Danny White has to walk. So... You know, this idea of quote-unquote letting him go, you can't offer him the same things that LSU can in a lot of ways. Yeah, and LSU's and now open and A&M was already open. Yeah, and, uh, so it's, it's, it's one of those things, you, you want to do everything you can to keep him, but you don't overextend yourself. The lifetime contracts, the, you know, we're going to move your, we're going to let you play in Neyland Stadium, anything right. crazy, like, you got to be careful. I've, uh, I've got a contact uh, in the college baseball industry, so one of the companies that is a provider for, for schools, and... His view, his, his take to me was everybody in the business, this is before LSU came open, everybody in the business of college baseball thinks Vitello's going to Texas A&M. That's the outsider view, but that's what the people around the country are saying. may not be anything, that's just they may be connecting the dots. Big program, this guy's going to get out of Tennessee because it's a bad situation in terms of the stadium, he'll go there. So there is, there is a, a rush to keep this guy who's doing well, but Jimmy, how far do you go if you're Tennessee in terms of extending yourself? We, we uh, talked about the football yeah. and how they've spent money unwisely. I thought, I thought another monkey wrench into this. There's the thought that, that um, LSU may be going after Kevin O'Sullivan at Florida, yeah. and if he leaves Florida, then that opens that job up and would yeah. Tyler be interested there. You go as far as you can to try to keep him. I don't know how to put a number on it, but I would go to Tony and say, what do we need to do to keep you here? Now, he, what his demands have to be within reason. He can't come to you and say, well, we need Lindsey Nelson at 10,000 seats. You're not going to get to 10,000 seats at Lindsey Nelson. They don't have enough room. Whatever you need, we will, we will try to meet that and do that within reason. I don't know if I can put a money figure on it because I don't know what he might be offered somewhere else. But you try to do everything you can. You're not going to be able to go out and pay him a $2.5 million contract. That's not going to happen. So uh, it, it's kind of hard for me to put a number on mm -hmm. it. John, I don't yeah. know how to do that, but, but you do everything within your power, and you ask him, what do you need? Now, I've, I've been told that Tony's really loyal 
to Tennessee because they gave him his first head coaching job. And he's happy here. And, John, but, I heard Texas A&M is more interested in the Dallas Baptist coach that's done such a good job in gotten him in things. Go look at Lindsey Nelson Stadium now. They've added bleachers on the third base side for the regional that's going to be here. Mm -hmm. They're already doing some things. I said earlier, Tennessee is so prone to reward failure. Boys, you need to reward success. And there's a lot of Tennessee fans that like what happened, what's going on over there. And baseball can come close to breaking even. Everybody says it's not a revenue I'll, sport. I'll say that. It's not a revenue sport. It Josh. can come close to break it even. <laughs> okay. It, so, has, it, it has it very few schools. It has it like very LSU. few. But you but, need but to that, reward success. And I think Tony Vitello is happy here. Give oh, him oh, a chance to do even more. I'm all for keeping it. I'm just saying, at what point do you say, we got to keep him no matter what and treat it like it's a football coach? He's not. No. I'm sorry. If, if, if the golf coach were tearing it up and everybody was saying, look what we're – sorry, you're the golf coach. I got nothing against mm -hmm. baseball. I don't think Tennessee should be 13th in the SEC in any facilities race, and that's where they are. Only Missouri is worse in baseball. Right. That has to change. But mm -hmm. I think that complicates matters, as we've discussed here, because you can't just go out and say, done deal. We're going to put $20 million into this thing. We're going to add 2,000 seats, and that left field line is going to be a weight room under there. Done. Because you have the downtown stadium that your school president is also trying to get right now, mm -hmm. and that is hanging out there. Which do they do? So I'm afraid yeah. you're going to be limited in being able to say not to mention the fact for all the fans who are saying improve Lindsay okay do you want that improved or do you want Neyland Stadium improved all the people that want the east and south that thing's 100 years old and that's 25 million that could go to UT I mean into Neyland instead of Lindsay Nelson they don't want to have to have a baseball player dedicate and say, I'll give you this amount of million dollars to do this at the stadium, and it has to be earmarked for that. Yeah, I don't know if anybody Todd Helton, if you're watching. <laughs> yeah. I don't know if anybody remembers, but uh, the last year has not been the greatest financial year for college sports. And yep. You know, that's a fact. Well, you need a big-time so big donor that steps up, you know, maybe even has thrown out the first pitch at one of the games. That might help. Well, he would <laughs> Again, he everybody, stuff. everybody's <laughs> lost. Though it's the sheriff. You know, it, it's not Nick Saban. Where if he asks you to sign over the deed to your house to him, you do it because that's like it's not. It, it, you well, can't just go all in. You, but you, you, can, have to you can give Kevin Steele nine hundred thousand dollars to work two weeks. <laughs> well, the idea is you don't give Kevin Steele. Have, <laughs> yeah. have, yeah. yeah. have an alum who's getting one point four million yeah. to say he walked away. Have him hand that money to Vitalo next. Yeah, to do a lot of good there. If he, loves, if he loves Tennessee <laughs> as much as he says, have. Get Kevin's still very back. excited about baseball. That's a good point. Uh, no, I'm like talking that. former. <laughs> uh, but uh, when you uh, – we've got to be quick here. What was I going to say? See, there's my memory compared to the Witten thing with Jimmy earlier. There you go. Just gone. Well, you've got to keep uh, things in perspective. I agree. Yeah. Well, you have to because you, Nick Saban, you give him everything you can. You're getting tons of TV revenue. You're building the stadium. You're getting more, more, more money, more pub. You don't get that with baseball. You don't get it with baseball. Right. It's not going to come back. Well, I so you can say almost break even. Beer sales have helped. Okay. <laughs> there's, there's more money coming when in. When it does, beer sales help. Well, they help. Have a good Memorial I'm Day. Serious. We'll see you Sunday with the VFLs. <laughs> a lot of profit.